Hey guys, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome to today's video. In this video, I want to give you guys a couple of good reasons to be a mermaid. Alright, number one. It keeps you active and is a good workout. Honestly, mermaiding is a really great way to stay active and to get in a good workout without actually feeling like you're getting in a good workout and slaving away at the gym. Honestly, because so much of the mermaid movement actually comes from your core and your whole body is involved, but it is, it is the larger portions of you that work, you are actually burning more calories without really the same kind of treacherous effort. I'm not a gym person, can you tell? I'm just really, I'm just really not. I mean, I kickbox, but like that's like my, that's like my limit right there. It's also great because it's low impact and if you're someone like me and you've got like knee problems and leg problems and back problems and hip problems, <laughs> it can be a really nice way to just to keep moving without beating yourself silly. Um, you know, on a treadmill, like high impact on your knees or, or doing other kind of sports. Like swimming is a great sort of all around sport. And I like this one, it keeps you young. <laughs> so I think most of us kind of my age and up can appreciate that as you get older and you sort of progress in life, we are less encouraged to do those things that kind of make us feel young and kept us, you know, youthful, those activities, those things that we liked to do. And I think it's really important to kind of sort of reel ourselves back in and realize that we had it right the first time. You know, staying active and, and using your imagination and just playing isn't just for kids, in my opinion, anyways. All right, another great reason to be a mermaid is it gets you out there and it gets you meeting new people, making new friends, getting more involved in a community outside of just the day-to-day -day work grind. I can say that there are so many amazing people that I've met uh, in this community and doing this specific activity that I wouldn't have met any other way. And I am very, very grateful for that and I think it's a great way to get involved and because we're all kind of of this of a similar I wouldn't say the same but of a similar kind of mindset it, uh, you know as mermaids what you know it's really easy to be like oh yeah like I'm into this too and I get you know absolutely that's a great idea like oh we should all get a meetup going and, and 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 it's just a really great way because in this day and age we're all like we're all just like this on our phones right nobody talks to anybody in the sky train or on the bus or anything like that and I feel like, you know, that's an, it's kind of an important thing, you know, making friends, meeting new people at any stage of life, like making new friends isn't just for when you're a little kid at the playground. So something to keep in mind. Another great one, it exercises your creativity and your imagination. Now people are going to be like, oh, well, why is that important? Hmm. I'm like, well, you know what? Problem solving. Okay. What does problem solving take? What, it, what's it, sorry, what's that? Creativity, imagination thinking outside the box. I know everybody loves to give me a hard time for this one. I'm not really sure why. Why you wouldn't be like jazzed to use your imagination. I mean, you have it. This is a gift, right? This is, a, this is something we should be mm, treasuring and cherishing, not being like, oh, you have an imagination, you're weird. And honestly, like being able to be creative and to use your imagination will help you throughout your life. That's what kids, that's why kids need to play. Kids don't just play just because like there's nothing better to do. Like they play because that's how they learn. And that should be, in my opinion, an, an ongoing thing. And as you go through life, you need to keep exercising and keep using these tools that you have so that it can prepare you for kind of the next things coming in life, right? The next one is probably just a really obvious one, honestly, but it brings you out of your comfort zone. As we go through life, we're more inclined to kind of stick in our little comfortable box of like, get up, go to work, come home, you interact with the same five people, you drive the same way that you go <laughs> to work every single day, and just the monotony of it all is enough to just Hmm, <laughs> not speaking from experience or anything. Um, but honestly, it brings you out of your comfort zone. You're trying something new, you're trying something a little scary maybe even, you get that heart uh, pumping a little bit, you you know, you're there's some excitement, there's something new. Because you know, as, uh, yeah, I keep, feel like I'm saying that a lot, like as you go through life, like I'm some great wisdomous person here, right? Um, but honestly, just what I've noticed in my 31 years on this planet, okay, is just as you go, 
you're just less, you're less kind of inclined to want to try anything new or to want to do anything new and the, the, the new things that do come your way aren't as exciting as they used to be, you know? Like you used to go out to a restaurant you've never been to with your parents and it was new and it was exciting and it was encouraging in some way and now, you know, life just kind of, you know? You gotta break it up. You gotta find. You gotta find what sparks joy. What what brings you excitement, and and I feel like mermaiding is such a good a good source of that for so many people in so many different like avenues and different ways. So honestly, I could just keep going on this list forever because I feel well. This is what I do for a living, guys. So I kind of feel like I could just keep I could just keep talking about all the reasons it's amazing to be a mermaid. But I want to actually pass this off to you. I want to know what are your good reasons for being a mermaid. So leave me a comment uh, down below. What are your top reasons, your favorite reasons? And, and I want to know because it means like mermaiding can mean so many different things to so many different people And I think that's something that's really beautiful about it. Okay, and this week's featured pod member is Mermaid Kim Vancouver on Instagram. She is of course my sea sister and I love her and the reason I picked her this week was because she is somebody who brings me out of my comfort zone all the time and and she helps me in so many ways like I have um, generalized anxiety disorder and I don't like trying new things and she'll be there with me patiently like encouraging me and not and not giving me a hard time for being scared or for being nervous so I want to give a huge shout out to mermaid Kim Vancouver you should go check her out on Instagram. So Mermaid Kim, thank you for all that you do, my sweet sea sister. <laughs> All right, and that wraps up today's video. If you guys liked it and you love mermaiding as much as I do, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod. Don't forget to hit that bell notification as well so you don't miss out on any of my mermaid adventures. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy swimming. We'll see you next time. Bye.